Hey guys, there's a new update for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. So now we finally have 18.6.2 for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. We have new Blackmagic camera, cloud workflow, syncs, captures. This is the most interesting thing that we have now since 18.6. Many people were asking me, where is the 18.6 update for the iPad? It was kind of missing, but now we have with the update 18.6.2, we have it here. Also support for the Blackmagic cloud storage. This is the cool thing that came with 18.6. Now we have it on the iPad as well. And also supports for auto text strokes and all the things here in the description. I like that they have it now here in the description. Very good. We will do the update now together. So the update is done and let's see if our shortcuts are still working for all of the pages. So open up DaVinci Resolve 18.6. Here we have it. It's still the same picture like before and we have DaVinci Resolve now and let's see if we can still open the pages and that's the most important. I can still edit, open the edit page, fusion page and so on and so on. Everything else I will look into the next couple of days and see if there's anything else that is super cool that we have now with 18.6. If you are a regular viewer of this channel, you maybe noticed that I wasn't daily in the last couple of days. We had this amazing seminar with Dr. Richard Bandler about NLP and also we decided to not um, work on the videos since we moved to Albania. I already talked about this in my last video. So there is a little bit less videos coming, but I'm planning to come back when we have our studio in Albania. So that's it for this video. I hope and I wish you an amazing week and weekend ahead and see you in the next video. If you like this one, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding and the bam bang gong and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.